Hi, this is Bob. I've been a licensed amateur radio operator for 54 years. Proud to be called an old timer. And I'm going to show you how to put a coax connector, PL259, onto RG6 coax with aluminum shield. I start first by removing about two inches of the black outer insulation and I do that by nibbling around with my wire cutters around the outside till I've got it all loose and then I just push it off which takes a little strength there. Now I've got the insulation off of the outer and then I take the aluminum braid and I fold it back and now when you do that you're going to see that some of the braid is going to break that's normal with aluminum braid and there's nothing you can do about that a few of those break it doesn't hurt anything you push it back next you come out about a quarter of an inch you nibble on two sides with your wire cutters again and you do the same thing you pull it off the center now you've got the copper exposed for a good inch and a half. Now on some of these coaxes, on most of them in fact, if you look at them really carefully you can see that the aluminum braid, or aluminum shield, excuse me, aluminum shield wraps around and you can find the edge of that. And once you find the edge you can take the braid or the, uh, the shield off of that center and peel it back. And once you peel it back, like that, you can tear it right off. Sometimes you have to get in there with your wire cutters and give it a little clip, but you can take that off. And that takes a little bit of fooling around to do that. But there we are, we got it removed. Now we've got about a quarter of an inch of the white insulation sticking up. We've got our center conductor bared. We've got our braids all wrapped back. Now the next step is duct tape. You want about a half inch strip of duct tape. Like that. Just tear it off there. You push your braid forward a little bit like that. You wrap the half inch of duct tape right behind where the braid goes on like that. And you go around seven times. Now some manufacturers duct tape is a little thicker than others so you might have to do it six times or you might have to do it eight. What you're after is a tight fit. And to tell you the truth, let's start over here again and I'll count those. So there's one wrap. Two, three, four, five, six, and we come around to seven. I won't even have to cut it. <laughs> that was lucky. I didn't cut that ahead of time. Be sure you put your shell for your PL259 down on the coax. I've forgotten those. Then I have to take it apart and do it all over again. Okay, now take your coax center part and you put that down like this. I forgot one step, guys you want to cut the braid, you want to shorten it. And I shorten it back to about a quarter of an inch long. Just like that. About a quarter inch long of braid. You want the braid all the way around. Come down over the duct tape like that because that's what makes your ground. And you put the coax center on and if you got things right, it'll screw on with some resistance, but you should be able to screw it on there. Now quite often I will take two pairs of pliers and screw it on, but I'm doing it by hand today and it's working just fine. Now you can look down through the holes and you can see that you don't have any braid or any aluminum down in there to uh, short things out. So you get that screwed all the way down in there, then all you have to do is take your soldering iron and solder the center. You can solder the center, it's copper, and you're all done. I have put coax connectors on 
I've got them outdoors in the weather. They've been up there for 35 years with that duct tape just like that and they work just fine. So there's a way to put a coax connector on RG6 with aluminum. You can also put these connectors on RG11 with aluminum. You have to come in at the end of the coax and nibble off a little bit of this outer shield uh, insulator, the outer insulation right up there near the edge to make it small enough to screw in here. But you can put RG, uh, you can put PL259 connectors on RG11 and, uh, and they'll work on that too. So that's how to put your connector onto a, a RG6 with aluminum braid and shield. That's it guys, 73's and good DX.